YouTube can handle 4K videos and even 8K videos just fine and I showed that a few years ago in a video up there. But can you already make a 16K video and upload it to YouTube? Let's take a look. Welcome back to YouTube Insight where I take a closer look at YouTube's quirks and features and if you haven't seen the 16K demo you can pause this video and watch the demo first or you watch this video first and then the demo however you would like. One question that comes to mind when talking about 16K video is probably why? Just why? Why do you need a 16K video? And the answer is you probably don't need it. But I had two reasons for trying it out. The first one is Linus' 16K gaming setup and that was pretty impressive to see. And a few weeks later I saw a tweet to MKBHD that showed a 16K in the quality settings of a YouTube player. So I got curious. Can you already make a 16K video and upload it to YouTube? And that's why I tried it out. The first thing that you will need is the right codec. To put it very simple, the codec is a set of instructions that basically tells the computer how the video data is compressed and how it's encoded in that specific file. Many codecs have built-in limitations for things like the resolution, the data rate and so on. And that's basically what the level setting in H.264 is for. So let's start here right away with H.264, since it's pretty much the standard for web video encoding as of right now. And is it good for 16K videos? And I would say it's not since the data rate limit pretty much caps it at 8K. So let's take a look at H.265, the successor of H.264. It can go higher in terms of resolution and data rate, but it has its problems too. It's slow to export, Adobe caps the export at 8K at the moment. FFmpeg could scale it up to 16K, but it produces a lot of artifacts then. So yeah, H.265 is no good either. I took a quick look at DNxHR and uncompressed video, but that's not very good either, since it's capped somewhere around 15K. Then there's a kind of old codec called Theora, and I probably mispronounced that one. This is a very interesting codec, it's from the early 2000s, and it has a theoretical limit of about a million by a million pixels, so it's pretty huge. However, the Adobe plugin itself is kept at somewhere around 8000 by 8000 at the moment. Of course, you could probably increase that by a small update, but FFmpeg could already go high enough for 16K video. However, the processing is also very slow. It produces a color shift when uploaded to YouTube, and I would have to scale up a video and not just directly make a 16K video. So that's not really good to use either. Then I found a new codec called Daniel2, and it's made by Synergy, and it looks very promising. It has a very good CPU load, it is fast in the coding times, but of course this comes at a few costs. If you encode a video very fast, then you probably don't compress it very much. And that's what's happening right here. The files produced by the Daniel2 codec are huge. And most people probably can't watch videos encoded in Daniel2, since the requirement for playback is a GPU with 8GB of memory. So, Daniel2 is a very promising codec, but it's not really usable yet. And that brings us to the codec that I used for my project, and that is VP9. VP9 is a video codec that is developed by Google and it is developed because of YouTube. The documentation lists a limit of 65,000 by 65,000 in terms of the resolution, but the Adobe plugin that is available right now has a built-in limitation of 16,000 by 16,000 pixels. But that could probably change very easily and also FFmpeg can't really go higher than that either. But of course VP9 is not a perfect codec either. It is very slow to export videos in VP9 and you can actually see in the task manager how it's encoding frame by frame. You can even find comments by YouTube engineers on Reddit that are saying that they don't like to use VB9 simply because it's too slow and the benefits aren't big enough in most cases. But I think it's the best we can do now for 16K video, but for that we also need the right program. So far I have only mentioned the Adobe products and FFmpeg S tools to encode a 16K video. And actually the choice of the program is kind of limited too, just as it is for the codec. I'm only going to mention a few here. Handbrake is limited to 4K video encoding. Megui can do nothing that is wider than 10,000 pixels. FFmpeg is usually the Swiss army knife for video encoding and it can do a lot, but you also need to feed it an actual video or an image sequence as an input. So I didn't really want to export an image sequence since that is taking up a lot of space on my hard drive. And I didn't really want to upscale any videos since that wouldn't be exporting a 16K video. So. FFmpeg in this case is not the right tool for me either. Adobe's Premiere Pro could export a 16K video without any problems, but the sequence size is limited far below that, so I would need to upscale in the end, and that's not what I want to do, so that's not a good tool either. I'm on Windows, so I couldn't really try out what Final Cut would be able to do, and that's why I went with Art Effects. In there, I can create a 16K video composition without any problem. I just have to decrease the preview quality quite a bit. The export of a 16K video was possible via the media encoder, there I selected VP9 
and it took quite a while to export, but finally the video was ready to upload it to YouTube. Let's start with the good news first. YouTube accepts VP9 encoded videos and it's also accepting videos at this high resolution. The processing on YouTube side is very interesting. It just takes a few minutes and then your 1080p version of that video is ready, but it becomes a H.264 video again. Everything above 1080p will take a few hours to process. I did a test with a very small clip that was just a few seconds long and that already took more than 24 hours to process. The end result of that long processing is that there's only 8K in the quality settings of the video player. And that's a little bit of a disappointment and not really a good sign. But if you actually check the statistics for nerds over the context menu, then you can see that YouTube delivers a resolution that is much higher than 8K. So let's come to the conclusion. Right now YouTube seems to have a maximum resolution of 14,336 by 8,064, but that's only for a 16 by 9 video. The bottom line is you can make a 16K video today, but it's not very easy. Exporting the 2 minute 42 demo video took a total of 18 hours on my machine, but I should also add that it was a 2 bus encoding and the processing on YouTube took a total of 32 hours. So yeah, VP9 is a very slow codec. On the other hand, VP9 has a very good image quality and also a very impressive data compression. Sure, my demo video was not very complex, but only 700 megabytes for this 2 minute and 42 seconds. That's pretty impressive to see. Besides the long encoding times, it was a lot of fun to research this topic and try out different approaches. And you can let me know your thoughts in the comments down below that like button. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more about YouTube and tech in general, then you can click on my face up there to subscribe to my channel. Most of my videos will be in German, but I often provide English subtitles and you can check that out on one of my older videos down here. And if you haven't seen it, you can watch the tech demo down here. And I would say until next week, take care. Ciao.